Usually, window managers employ multiple overlapping windows and leave the spatial arrangement of the individual windows to the user. Automatic window layout techniques spatially arrange windows so overlaps are avoided. These techniques treat windows as black boxes. The window rectangles are treated as information spaces. The empty desktop regions represent the available empty space. However, looking at the window content, we can see that there is a significant amount of unimportant space within window boundaries. These unimportant regions can be used to show content of occluded windows. However, applying see-through compositing alone does not guarantee that important content is actually revealed. Importance-driven compositing window management introduces a spatial window layout for see-through window interfaces to optimize content visibility and ensure interactivity with occluded content. For importance-driven compositing, we require window information beyond position and size. We need a measure of importance for the desktop and all individual windows. To describe the importance of a window, we rely on visual saliency as a description of how much attention is attracted by a certain region. The window layout routine is responsible for moving occluded windows to a location where the important regions are not obscured by other desktop content. To find the optimal placement, we consider three influencing factors. The information overlap is formulated as the normalised cross-correlation of the window and desktop importance maps. The other two factors are the distance from the original window location and the distance from the previous window location. Solving this optimization problem results in the final window location. The window transparencies are assigned pixel-wise in a final compositing step. We support two compositing techniques, cutaways and ghosting. To interact with see-through windows, the mouse input is redirected to the most salient window at the current mouse pointer location. To uncover content on demand, the users can press a keyboard shortcut. When activated, visible portions of occluded windows are interactive. To switch to an occluded window, the user moves the mouse to the window and releases the keyboard shortcut. To minimise interruption caused by popping up windows, we automatically reposition newly created dialog windows. The user can turn the dialog into a conventional, unmanaged window by using a simple shortcut. If the user does not interact with the dialog window, it is moved to the background after a few seconds. Floating menus can be automatically positioned to minimise overlap with the main content. The user can also bind the menu to a parent window. Any application window can be selected as a floating menu. To help the user lay out windows on the desktop, we use importance-driven compositing for semi-automatic window layout. It is activated when the user selects a window's title bar. When dragging a window, obscured windows are repositioned to avoid occlusion of important regions by the dragged window. The created window layout persists when the user stops dragging the window.